Hey guys. Well, yesterday I received um, the uh, message from Vic, and he made a new video, and this video about 28 minutes long. And the topic of uh, this video, he said, is uh, your past does not equal to your uh, future, which is very true. And in this video, he's sharing his some personal story about what happened to him before in 2003 and 2009, something like that. Well, I just want to give uh, a kind of uh, my feeling towards him and uh, this video and to those whomever uh, still still give a bite on these things people what I want to say is last September like what I told you guys before I started to change my career from tourism industry into this internet business at the beginning I truly lost a lot of money because I you know truly didn't got the right access to catch the traffic at the same time I run several um, websites at the same time truly burn off a lot of money from me and I 100% count on SEO at that time to blog everything well definitely the rates and is not the high and the result is not good at all I, I lost money I've told you guys before and after I joined into his high traffic academy his personal project before this uh, big idea mastermind I started to learn many strategies about how to catch traffic from that time on I start to make money I have to say results prove everything right well even before I joined into the high, tra high traffic academy I truly did some research on him because I lost some money I don't want to think okay this is another trick or trap or something like that so I, I personally Google him and I got the information about uh, what happened to him before and he being even arrested in 2009 or something like that. But the thing that is, I'm not 100% to rely on what he did before. Because at that moment, you could tell his high traffic academy, the strategy truly start to work in my personal website. Right? He doesn't pay me to say this. I just want to tell you guys about what truly happened to me. And later on, when he got this big idea mastermind, let me question you guys. He made a good money already from his high traffic academy. So why he did this to all of us? Try to help other people together, whomever lost the money into this area. And he told everybody already, when 90% of people who are doing internet business into this marketing side, a lot of them didn't get a hint, didn't truly really catch the clue, and lost money. And he will help people out and by this project thing. And another sample like the Hawaii retreat and even the Miami retreat back to February earlier this year. Well, I want to say why he paid that shitload of money from his own personal wallet to, you know, give us party thing to teach us, you know, it's a lot of money, I have to say. If you don't believe, just check about other videos I made for every single retreat he made every single day. I give a daily talk and review, and everybody else also made it too, right? All of these can prove that he's trying what he's trying so hard to do today. What he's everything, I mean, uh, effort into it today. He's in Denver. He's favor to all of us. Definitely awesome to help us. He got definitely a big and good heart, right? People whom ever really to give a bite on what happened before and use the a person's past to judge at people's today and what happened in future you are truly very much stupid and you are just a bushy person i have to say that and i appreciate so much about Vic to share this personal story i believe this is definitely one of the embarrassed moments in his life if i were him i would not maybe sharing about that all right nobody is perfect right so that's my whole feeling. I still want, I still feel much, very much grateful about, I've, you know, come into this in new industry and I'm very much grateful about I've met Vic and David and David and those wonderful people I've met in retreat, everybody. Because, you know, this is a new community for everybody and everybody are working hard to make a better future, to change your life and also try to help others out, right? So anyway, this is my feeling and I want to tell Vic, thank you so much for whatever and everything you've done to us, you've helped us. We definitely will 100% stay on your side and support you. So I want to connect about what Vic did and what uh, Vic told about his personal story 
in this video too, so you guys can watch about his story things. And uh, uh, I'm going to also leave my personal blog and also other video channels uh, URL down below. Anyhow, any of you have any question, you're very much welcome to uh, leave down below. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, what's going on? Big here coming at you. Video number six out of 90. Welcome back. How you been today? How's your day going? Hope you had a great day today. Hope you're having a good day today when you're watching this video. You know, we just got back from dinner with my family. That's why I'm dressed kind of like this, <laughs> you know. Uh, usually I don't, uh, don't wear a shirt like that, uh, especially of being on vacation, right? But uh, hey, just wanted to grab this camera and I wanted to talk with you guys. Uh, again, share with you something that uh, hopefully can you know help you get to the next level right? maybe help you you know maybe remind you of something you already know maybe help you you know take your business a step closer to where you want it to go right something that can help you guys uh, and, uh, and and the only reason I'm doing these videos for you guys for, for 90 days right and who knows maybe we'll, we'll, we'll continue doing them uh, for a very long time you know even after that but uh, the, the main goal here guys the main uh, intention behind doing what I'm doing for you right is nothing more than just to give you guys uh, give you value right just to give you something that can hopefully help you in your business that you know some things that I have gone through personally and you know that help me right so I'm just gonna share it with you and, and so hopefully those some of those things can can help you as well okay so I uh, wanted to talk to you about today about something I have been thinking about um, for you know pretty much for all day today right uh, you know, yesterday we went to uh, a restaurant with my family for a dinner, and there was this family that came in, and um, there was a girl, she must have been, you know, 12, 13 years old probably, and, you know, I noticed that she was walking with a cane, you know, with a cane. I'm like, well, you know, what's going on? So it, it, it turns out that she was blind. Can you imagine 12-year-old or 13-year-old and just totally blind? Right, she she will never ever be able to see the the you know the daylight. Right, never will be able to see her parents. Never will never will be able to see the, you know the, what's going on. I mean, she is on the vacation in Hawaii. Right, her parents brought her over, and she can't even see where she's at. Does that make sense? And that kind of that kind of reminded me to be grateful. Right, to you know to just just think about this. Just so many things. You know, we as marketers we try to go after the big things. You know, we try to accomplish big goals. You know, we, we're going after the, 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 the big things in life, right? We're paying a lot of money for, you know, for stuff that's really, a lot of it is just useless, right? But we tend to forget, you know, the, the stuff that we have, you know, for free in our lives, right? Your relationships, your friendships, uh, your, you know, the ability for you to be able to live, right? The ability for you to be able to watch this video right here, my friend, right? The ability for you to be able to walk with your with your own two feet, you know, your own on your own two legs, right? The ability for you to be able to type on your keyboard with your own two, you know, with your own fingers, right? When having two arms, obviously, and stuff like that. So, my friend, I just wanted to kind of pass this on to you and and just kind of remind you that, man, you know, just just be grateful, you know, be grateful for whatever you got going on in your life. Just be grateful, you know. I have a, uh, I have adopted this belief a long time ago that, you know. Anything that happens, anything that happens, happens for a, a, a good reason, right? Everything that happens, happens for the better. Uh, and a lot of times we don't know, like for example, you know, maybe you're going through some struggles in life right now, maybe you're trying to build your business and, and maybe things are not working out the way you wanted it to work out, right? Maybe you are, you know, building your life, maybe you're trying to take your life to the next level, maybe you're trying to improve something, right? And maybe you're not seeing the results yet, my friend, I just want to encourage you, just hang in there, man, just stick in there, just... You know, just just do what you're doing, right? Just, you know, stick to the plan, right? Just continue doing what you're doing and have faith. Be grateful for what you got. You know, there is, you know, man, I, I have I have personally gone through some some crazy crazy times that uh, a lot of times I didn't even talk about. Maybe I'm gonna share it with you guys. And heck, maybe I should share it with you, right? Uh, you know, and uh, and and you know, some people ask me, you know, they're like, Vic, you know, I had, you know, certain things happen to me before and. Uh, and you know, I'm not sure. You know, how is that going to affect me as a marketer? How is that going to affect me as you know, building my business? Uh, you know, some people are uh, emailing me and asking me questions like, well, what's you know, what's my past have to do with, you know, with my business? I mean, how is that going to come together, guys? I'm going to share with you uh, something that, um, you know, something that I haven't really shared with anybody. Uh, I haven't talked about it in, in public, uh, not yet, anyways, right? But you know, hey, why not, right? Uh, I mean, it's it's 
if, if anything, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna prove a point that, listen, your past does not have to equal your future, right? What happened to you in the past, what happened to you when you were in, you know, in middle school or elementary school or when you were a child, when you were in high school or college or what happened to you, you know, whatever the, the, the stupid things that you did in the past, right? My friend, that has absolutely nothing to do with where you're going, right, with, with, with your future. So I want you to just embrace the fact that, hey, listen, today is your brand new beginning every single day, okay? Every single day uh, is a brand new beginning for you. Okay, if you just realize that, if you just, if you just every single day when you wake up and you just, you know, think to yourself that, hey, this is a brand new slate for me today, right? What happened yesterday is gone. It's history. It will never be repeated. You will never be able to change it ever. Okay, but today is a brand new day. Today is a brand new beginning for you. So today you can make a shift. Today you can make a difference. You can. What you do today is going to determine how you're going to live tomorrow. Okay? Just kind of remember that as a marker. Again, w w does this stuff have to do with marketing? No, right? But at the same time, it has to do with, it has a lot to do with marketing, okay? Because the stuff we're talking about in these videos, you know, they're all kind of, you know, everything ties together, right? Guys, I'm going to share with you a personal uh, experience that, again, I only shared with, with a few people who were kind of sitting at the dinner table. Uh, I was in Austin, Texas several months ago and we were sitting with Big Idea Mastermind members uh, and, I, and I shared my, you know, shared my personal story with them and, you know, and, and I never shared with the public really. Uh, but, uh, you know, but then, and, you know, they're like, Vic, why don't you share it with the public? Why don't you share it with everybody? So, I, you know, I kind of thought about it and I said, well, what the heck, right? And the reason I, I, I really didn't share it with, with, you know, with you guys and I'm a part of this community called, right, Internet Marketing. Uh, and uh, you know we got people walking here as I'm recording this video and kind of looking a little bit weird. Uh, well, that's it's cool. It, you know, it's fun. Uh, yeah, the reason I didn't share this my story, my personal story, um, something that I that I had gone through, right, that got me in trouble personally. Okay, uh, is just because I don't think it, it's empowering. I just I don't think it's gonna you know I, I don't think that you know it's it's gonna serve anybody, right? Except maybe for the fact that hey. It's gonna prove a point that doesn't matter what you're going through. You know, it, it, your your past does not have to equal your future, guys. A lot of you don't know that I was actually uh, I was actually sued and I was uh, I was um, arrested, right? It was back. Let me kind of let me kind of take you back because there was a lot of people. You know, a lot of people are, are, are talking about it. A lot of people are kind of you know they're 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 tweaking things, right? A lot of people are kind of you know, gas gossiping behind this. So, uh, so let me share this with you as, as a member of this community and you guys are following me, you guys are following my stuff, you know, a lot of you guys have bought my products. Uh, a lot of you guys are, are a part of our, of our vision with Big Idea Mastermind, you know, what we wanna do, what we wanna accomplish. So I wanna be uh, completely open with you guys, completely transparent, just kinda talk to you about some things that I had gone through in my life, right? Um, and listen, if I could bounce back from that, right, and, uh, and, and, and continue doing what I'm doing, right, uh, that didn't stop me, hey, there is, there is no excuse, there is, no, there is nothing, okay? There is absolutely nothing that can stop you unless you allow it to stop you, okay? And um, so it, it goes back to 2000 and, uh, I guess it was 2003 or so, right? When I was, uh, for about a year or so, I was, um, I, I became an agent to sell life insurance, okay? So, I wanted to see what it's like, you know, to be able to work 100% commissions. Uh, again, remember this was 2003, so I was—I don't remember how old I was, but I was young, still in my early, early 20s, maybe even less than 20. I don't remember. Anyway, so back 2003, right? You can do the math. I'm 29 right now. Math was never my my favorite topic in high school. So, <laughs> and guys, sorry for the for the noise there. We got people walking, so I'm just kind of wait for them to uh, to go through through the door, so that we you don't have to hear to the. You don't have to listen to the uh, to the noise. All right. So, uh, what happened was, I got started selling life insurance. Okay, young kid, right, trying to make it happen. And I was learning from people who were masters at that, you know, in that company. Right. I was learning from people who were at the top of their game. Right. So I was like a sponge. I was soaking everything in. I was trying to, you know, to absorb as much as I could. Right. I went to the rallies. I went to the events. I went to every single conference calls that they had. Um, I, you know, I, I watched uh, every single video I could get my hands on, uh, listened and read all the training materials, and I became a good salesman, right? I became a good, you know, uh, sales, life insurance agent, whatever they want to call them, right? Uh, and so, but the only problem was I was living in South Dakota, right, where I still live, 
Uh, and uh, I was traveling, you know, to do my business. I had to go to like Nebraska and Iowa and North, uh, yeah, Minnesota, North Dakota. Just I had to go and travel a lot of times, four to five, six hours one way, right, to sell insurance policies. And the way that it worked, for those of you guys who care to know the full details, right, maybe, you know, it's not going to, you know, obviously it's not going to serve you all the details, but hey, you want to know the details, right, what happened. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to share with you what happened, right? So I'm driving back and forth, you know, winter some, right? I sold insurance for about a year. So it wasn't it wasn't too long, but for about a year uh, or so. Um, this was before I before I, you know, came across this internet marketing and and before I started dabbling into, you know, different online businesses and stuff like that. So uh, <laughs> one time, you know, I, I, I you know, as I'm driving and I'm, I'm selling insurance, I, I got I got a pretty good with 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 selling insurance, right? So, uh, and then I think it was winter time, sometime in the winter time, I needed the money. If I don't remember what it was for. Um, I needed like twenty or twenty thousand dollars. Some some kind of some bill came in or something. I don't remember what what I needed it for. But uh, and this clever stupid idea came to me, right? I I thought to myself. Um, what I can do is I can temporarily kind of trick the company, but not necessarily trick the company, but I could be, at that time, I thought it, would, it was, it was a, a, you know, an idea that could get me, get me through for, for a, you know, a period of time, right? Um, obviously, it was the stupid, stupidest idea I've ever, ever, ever came up with, <laughs> right? So, if you're watching this, and if you're, you know, if you're in any, uh, any, you know, similar positions or selling any, any, any similar things, uh, don't do what I did, all right? Don't do, <laughs> don't do what I did because that got me in trouble and, um, uh, and, and a lot of trouble, right? So, let me preframe this. So, the way that that worked, right, is insurance companies paid me advanced commissions. So, for example, I could. You know, I only needed to collect first month premium for the policy. So let's say somebody paid, you know, $100 per month to get their insurance, right? Uh, so I would take, I would collect $100 per month, right? The first month uh, premium, and I would submit an application to the company, right? And they got not, they got this application, so they would take this first month premium. They would take that times 12, right? Which is for 12 months, and they would pay me advanced commissions. Uh, for the whole year, like 60%. Okay, so in fact, uh, I could I could realistically sell a policy for like a hundred dollars, you know, for first month, and then the company would actually pay me something like I don't remember 600 or 700 dollars uh, for you know advanced commissions. And so what happens is when somebody cancels that policy later on, right before their term is you know before before the first year is over, then the company charges back the commissions that they paid me, right? Which was kind of cool and bad at the same time, right? So it depends. And so, you know, I kind of, I knew their, their, their business model, right? And I thought to myself, I thought, well, you know, it's winter, you know, it's tons of snow on the out, and you know, if you guys are, you know, familiar with the South Dakota, Minnesota area, we, we get hammered with snow, we get buried with snow a lot of times, right? So, I got this stupidest idea came to me, and I thought, well, why don't I just write a policy, uh, just Take, come, you know, come up with a fake name, right, for the person, because I never wanted to, you know, I never ever in my life, never wanted to do anything that would hurt anybody in, in, you know, in real life, right? Uh, so I, I made up a name, you know, I, I think I wrote like four or five applications, and I just came up with random names, just, you know, made up a name uh, for the policy, uh, fake address, fake everything, okay, just made up, all right? Um, and then for the uh, you know for the premiums, I just made up bank routing number and account number, wrote it up on the application, just kind of see what happens. Submitted it to the company, and boom, they paid me. Uh, they advanced me commissions, right? And so I think I got paid like twenty five thousand or twenty six thousand dollars, something like that, uh, worth of commissions. Now I I knew that it would not, you know, I mean, I, you know, this would not be. I can't just get the money right from the company. I mean, I knew that that money would have to be paid back to the company because later on, at about two months later or so, right, uh, there there's going to be a chargeback for those commissions, right? Because obviously the company is going to you know try to run a you know run an application and there is no money coming in, right? So they'll just charge back the commissions. But I knew that by the time the chargeback would come, I would make enough business, new business, right, to cover the chargeback. Uh, so that I would, you know, kind of even everything out. So, and that's exactly what happened, right? So, uh, again, no, no real people were harmed or anything. Um, I just kind of wanted to uh, get the get the money from the company 
um, kind of get an advanced thing for myself, to, a temporary for a short period of time. And then, you know, obviously that commissions got charged back and I wrote enough more uh, new business and everything was cool, right? So I got back to the, you know, uh, broken, bro broke even and stuff like that. Uh, and everything was cool, right? Everything was cool. Keep in mind, this was 2003, I believe it was 2003 sometimes. So then I quit, you know, the insurance sales because I had to travel a lot and everything. Uh, started with the banking industry uh, and, you know, was struggling. Now, then I start an online business. It was about 2005 or so is when I got started dabbling into the you know, internet marketing uh, business models, right? Uh, and uh, I actually had to borrow the money to get started with my online business. A lot of you guys know that story. I actually had to borrow $30,000 from a friend of mine, which I'm still thankful to him, and I talk to him uh, a lot. Uh, and I still thank him for, for what he did for me because he actually, if it wasn't for him, I don't know if I would be here today, right? But here's the point, guys, right? Fast forward to 2009, okay? I'm, I'm doing my internet marketing thing. I'm selling my own products. I have my own membership sites going. I'm making decent money online, right? 2009, okay? From 2003 to 2009. Uh, our third son, my wife was, was pregnant with our third boy, okay, at the time. And um, I, remember, I remember this clearly as it was if it was yesterday. Uh, we were doing remodeling in their house, right? So uh, big mess and we were putting hardwood floors in and changing the bathtubs to a, a whirlpool and jacuzzis and everything, changing carpets. And a lot of people are kind of moving, you know, coming in and out from the house. A lot of uh, contract, contractors coming in, excuse me. Uh, and I got a knock on the door and I opened the door and they say, hey, you Vic? Yeah, I'm Vic, right? And uh, this guy is telling me, hey, we got a warrant for your arrest. I go, what? A warrant for your arrest? My wife, you know, heard me, uh, uh, you know, at the door. They're like, you know, she's like, "What's going on?" You know, she's she's freaking out, and she was like eight months pregnant with her third boy. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, freaking out. I mean, what's going on? A warrant for my arrest for what, right? Uh, and they're telling me uh, grand theft, grand theft. And I forgot, I completely forgot what happened and what what this could be for absolutely forgot about it so I'm like well guys this is a mistake I mean you you, you got the wrong guy man <laughs> you know uh, but uh, luckily there was a bond so I you know I bonded out uh, and uh, you know went to court and everything so but it turns out see what turns out that one of the policies that I wrote those fake policies right uh, when I had that stupid quote unquote that idea that I had right um, in 2003 it just so happened that one of the policies got audited by the state in 2009, right? And it happened to be that policy that I wrote. And so they got me, okay? So the judge told me to pay uh, a big fine, which I did, right? They put me to, uh, to go to a work release center, you know, to, to jail. They arrested me and they sentenced, sentenced me to uh, 90 days on weekends, right? Which was uh, nice of them. Uh, and so, you know, here I am going to, you know, serving my country <laughs> uh, for 90 days on weekends and as I'm sitting there you know I got ideas going in my head you know what can I do what can I do with my time uh, and you know sitting there guys here is my point right whatever you're going through in life you know that was the lowest most embarrassing point in my life you know when I was when I was going through that through that process right some people that were following me you know in this uh, in this community you know some of you guys watching this video uh, you know, we had a seven-figure marketing school going on at that time and some of you guys Some of you guys stuck around some of you guys, you know, were very very supportive at that time, right? Some people though, right? Some people when they heard what happened uh, They said well Vic is a scammer. He got arrested. He got convicted for fraud. He got this and that uh, You know and uh, and they said well, we, we can't you know, I'm not you know, he is he is a, a douche <laughs> We're not going to do business with them. Run away as far as you can. And so, you know, a lot of people run away, right? Understandable. But see, that was the most embarrassing point in my life, guys. And, you know, here is my point. Whatever you're going through in life right now, my friend, okay? Whatever you're going through in life right now, see what you can do in that situation to turn that situation maybe for the better, right? See what you can do in that situation because everything happens for the right reason everything happens for the better that's my personal belief so here's what happened my friends I'm gonna tell you right now if it wasn't for me serving on weekends right 
at that time in 2009 some some somewhere in there right if it wasn't if I wasn't sentenced to go to jail for 90 days on weekends my friends I would probably not be here big idea mastermind would probably not be here okay high traffic Academy would probably not exist okay some things that are that I'm doing on the internet probably would not have happened because as I look back right every single thing that happened in my life my friend it needed to happen at that precise moment you know what I would never repeat what I did right but you know what I would never trade it for anything okay because I was as I was going through you know as I was going to jail for you know for weekends two days a week right for 90 days I'm sitting there and absolutely nothing to do I mean you can sleep for 24 hours if you want right you can watch TV for 24 hours you know what I did I read right I was reading and I was I was I was thinking I was you know playing with ideas on pen on, on, on paper right I was writing different ideas down I was writing you know different uh, scenarios different funnels I was brainstorming what can I do with my internet marketing business what can I do how can I improve it how can I make it better right and so an idea came to me uh, that later turned uh, into the 48 hour cash machine right which a lot of you guys have, you know know about that a lot of you guys have tried it which made a lot of people a lot of money Okay, then that idea, you know, kind of evolved into the seven figure mark or the um, global success club and then the high traffic academy and then big idea mastermind. Right. And guys, right now, what we're doing, see, is it, it, it the, the idea that started kind of brewing in my head um, in 2009, guys, little by little, okay, small shifts, one thing led to another. And right now it kind of grew into this gigantic just movement just something that just drives me every single day and that's big idea mastermind right that's what's something that we want to do in this community uh, and, and just to make a big difference in this community my friend here's here's why I'm telling you all this stuff okay I'm telling you this stuff to 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 tell you this number one be grateful for every single thing that happens to you in your life okay thing number two is whatever whatever you're going through in life right now whatever if you're going through hell right now okay just Take it and, and look at the situation and say, what good can come out from this? Okay, what good can come out from this situation? What can I, how can I turn this around? Uh, you never know, my friend, your story, okay, your story is so powerful. What, what you're going through today, okay, you may use this and you may talk about this later on when you are successful, okay, and that's going to be your story, okay, and, you know, listen, right now I can say, listen, if I could, if I can get arrested, if I can get put to jail, right, and still make a million bucks, hey, what's your, what's your excuse, right, you can do whatever, you can do whatever you want to do in this business, my friend, okay, so, uh, that's my little message for you today, you know, hope you enjoyed it, uh, hope, uh, you know, some, some, there's, there's some people that, you know, there are some people that, um, you know, that, that will hear this story and they'll say, oh my God, Vic is, you know, you know, he's been convicted or whatever, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and some of you guys are going to, this story that I just shared with you is going to scare some of you guys, okay? I just know it. And you know what? That's fine. That's cool. You know, that's cool. I understand that. A lot of you guys will realize that, hey, you know, what happened is history, right? Now, that's, that's something that I... You know, every single day when I wake up, I say, "Listen, yesterday is gone. It's it will never it will never repeat itself, right? What happened yesterday? Heck, what happened an hour ago? Okay, it's history. It's gone. What you're gonna do with this moment that you have right now? What you're gonna do today? Okay, do you have a specific plan of action um, that you're gonna do today that you're gonna implement today? Do you know exactly what you're gonna do today that's gonna help you get closer, help you get yourself closer to your goal?" Uh, tomorrow you know what I'm talking about so my friend here's the thing there's a lot of critics there's a lot of a lot of people who are kind of jealous right now of what Vic is doing on the internet a lot of people a lot, a lot of you guys are watching right now and you know who you are right I'm talking to you um, some of my haters quote unquote right I love you guys right I love you guys but here's I got a little message for you as well right so if you're watching this and uh, if you're jealous of Vic's success and because you're jealous right you're trying to just bash Vic, right? You're trying to just, you know, put all kinds of dirt on Vic, right? You're trying to, you know, bring what happened, uh, uh, you know, in 2003 and, and you know, uh, 2009 uh, with Vic being, you know, uh, convicted or whatever, right? 
guys, if you want to do that, that's cool with me, all right? I'm cool with it. I, I, I'm cool with that, right? I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Um, you know, you can, you can, you can do whatever you want to do, right? You can talk about whatever you want to talk about, right? Uh, I'm still successful, okay? Because I don't let my past hold me back from accomplishing my dreams, okay? And if you're gonna be judgmental, right? If you're gonna be looking at things, uh, not just me, right? If you, if you're, if you're, if you're judging people, if you're just gonna put all kinds of dirt on other marketers just because you're jealous of their success, my friend, you will fail. Okay? You will never, ever be successful. Okay? I want to talk to you guys who, uh, who have a vision. I want to talk to you guys who have a goal. I want to talk to you if you, have, if, you, if you want to do something big with your life. If you want to do something big with your, you know, with your, with your industry, with your, uh, with your company, with your business, with what you're doing. My friend, don't give up on your dream. Go after it. Okay? Don't let anybody derail you. Okay? Don't, let, don't let the... Don't let the, 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 the complainers, the negativity spreaders, the spreaders, don't let the, you know, the, the jealous people knock you off course, okay? Uh, it's going to happen, right? People are going to try to knock you down. People are going to try to, you know, to, to, you know to, to talk about you behind your back. Um, people are going to try to bash you in forums, right? People are going to try to, you know, to just cover you up with dirt, right? Just because they're jealous, right? That's the only reason. You just got to know that, hey, if you know where you're going, Stick to the plan, man. Stick to the plan. Don't let anybody derail you. Okay, my friend? Um, and I promise you, I promise you, there's going to come a time to where you will realize your goal. And let me tell you, my friend, if you would tell me that, you know, in 2005 when I was getting started in this industry that I would be where I'm at today, right, in my, in my life, in my business, um, I don't know if I would believe you, you know? But it's just taking one step at a time, you know, being grateful for what you got, having a big vision, having a bigger goal, right, and just sticking through it and, and going through the obstacles and, and just going through the, through the storms of life, right, and, and never losing sight of your vision, of your big dream, of your big goal, never letting anything stop you, my friend. Don't let anything or anybody stop you. You will be successful, all right? Guys, that's my little message for you today. Uh, oh man, we've been going on for almost 30 minutes here. Thank you for watching this long, all right? So hopefully this is gonna clear up some folk for those of you guys who wanted to help, you know, to hear more details. Um, and um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what you think about this stuff in the comments below. I'd appreciate you guys. A lot more tips are coming. Um, you know, we're gonna be talking, we're gonna be diving deep into the marketing stuff, okay? When I, as soon as I get back home uh, in, in, in a few more days here, I will actually be, you know, sharing with you guys some marketing tips when I actually get on the computer and actually show you stuff on my computer where you can actually get to watch, you know, kind of like standing behind my back and, or over my shoulder and kind of watch what I'm doing on the computer, right? Cool things are coming, guys. Let me know if, if this stuff is helpful for you. Um, I appreciate you all. I love you guys. Uh, let's build something big, all right? Let's take this industry and let's just, you know, let's just do something that has never been done before because we can. Listen, together we can do big things. Together we can make this industry, you know, we, we, we can we can we can we can gain the power we can get the power back into this industry right there's a lot of crap going on there's a lot of garbage going on in this industry but guys if you know if i just want to do something myself right i can't i can only do so much okay but if a lot of people come in together with one vision and that's to make a difference my friends we can move mountains okay we can literally move mountains um in this industry we can do things that is unimaginable to other people okay if we have the same vision if we have the same goal and if we all work together towards the same thing okay love you guys we'll talk to you tomorrow bye bye